Good afternoon, Foundation staff. Today we are investigating the most riveting of subjects, anomalies within the housing market. As some of you may know, the Site42 Patreon is growing, and we are in the process of researching larger research spaces based on your generous help. Link is in the bio if you want to join and help the cause. Unfortunately, we are located in the San Francisco Bay Area, where there is a housing crisis. There are many, many more people than there are available housing units, and in a supply and demand scenario such as that, you can imagine that prices are through the roof. However, there is hope. Multiple groups are in the process of building hundreds, nay thousands of new units. Surely with this influx of supply, the demand will drop and... Huh. Strange. The prices on these apartments seem to be even higher than previous. If supply went up, then logically demand and therefore prices should have gone down. What could be causing this anomaly? Hmm. Hey there, Foundation staff. This is Dr. Theron Sherman popping out for a field mission. Not all anomalies are dangerous. Some of them are just weird. Take this abandoned bus stop. Starting in November of 2015, this bus stop started spontaneously producing three empty cans of beer on its bench at 6 a.m. every morning. It's not terribly difficult to contain. We just have a rotation of agents whose job it is to show up at 5.45 a.m. and pretend the cans are theirs. Stranger still is that the two remaining windows on the bus stop, when covered in condensation, always reveal the same two handwritten messages. Oh God, what are we going to do? And please help me, respectively. If you spot any anomalies in public, make sure to properly document them. Secure, contain, protect. If someone is staring at 173, but they are blind, can he still move? A very common question, and one that we don't have a lot of evidence for. The only data I could find in the archives was in a file named In the Land of the Blind. The incident report tells us that A, a large portion of Site-19 staff was rendered blind by a faulty experiment, and B, 173 escaped, and it didn't go well. The end of the incident log tells us that this was a prank, but was it really, or is this a cover-up from the higher-ups? So my best guess right now, 173 plus blind people equals a statue in a candy store. But wait, I'm having a premonition. You're going to the comments to ask, what about 096? Again, this is only conjecture, but based on the four fucking pixels incident, it seems that as long as an image of 096 gets into your mind's eye, even subconsciously, it will attack. If you are completely blind, there's no image getting in there, so you should be fine. Legally blind, though, where you can still see? I can't stop thinking about that TikTok that said that Arby's isn't real. The rest of this video goes on to assert that if you remember visiting an Arby's, what actually happened is that the men in black erased your memory because Arby's don't exist. This is an accurate statement. What's more, we at the Foundation, as well as other anomaly-adjacent groups, use the restaurant and the witness's memory to tell which group had dealt with them prior. The men in black designation is Arby's, while the Torchwood Institute chose Nando's, the cheeky bastards. The Global Occult Coalition uses Hooters, Long John Silver's is obviously the Shark Punching Center, and the Unusual Incidents Unit uses Jack in the Box because... Bleh. Oh, us? The Foundation uses the Cheesecake Factory, a mishmash of every genre of food and architecture? I thought that would be obvious. If the Miraculous were SCPs, which they're not, but if they were, how... Sixty-four twenty-three. Is that my lab coat? Uh, nope. Let's put a finger down. SCP edition. Put a finger down if you know what this is or what it's referencing. If you have more than like seven fingers down, you're in too deep, and you should like see a doctor. SCP one seven three. The infinite IKEA. The Bright Family. Ship in a bottle. Only, 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 etc. Duke scene. Project Foundation. Cactus verse. No vote button discourse. Operation Nutfall. Wiki speed running. Kiwi farms. Right, excellent. Okay, I invited Cassidy, and remember, he promised to go easy on her, okay? 
Cassidy, you're here. Okay, Bright wanted to talk to you. I'm sorry, but your application to be 035's next host was declined. I, I, even here, I stand up. Bright! Last video, I showed you guys this wall that I can fully insert my hand into. Um, now, one of you commented saying I should put the phone through to see what it looks like on the other side. So we're going to do that now. Hey, here we go. historical misconceptions that really annoy you. Benjamin Franklin's magical wish-granting penis. Okay, so to be fair, this is only a misconception because we at the Foundation are actively covering it up. But SCP-3313, the aforementioned severed penis of Benjamin Franklin, grants the wielder class two reality-bending powers. You say, I wish for X, and it gives it to you. Why does it grant wishes? We don't know nor do we have the ability to experiment on it anymore. See, in a ploy to overthrow the US government, wow, that's pertinent to our times, the chaos insurgency resurrected five founding fathers, including Ben Franklin. Now, the founding fathers all had their own powers and they all escaped chaos insurgency care. Ben Franklin broke into our site that held his magical wish-granting penis, grabbed it, and used it to wish himself into a rocket-propelled escape from the site through eight floors. So yeah, that happened. I don't care how important that thing's research is to the Foundation. It killed Raymond in cold blood. And unless you want to be the next one to interview it, I suggest you raise its restriction level now. All right, I've got something today that SCP TikTok needs to know about. There's this series called Limited Memories. It starts with SCP-5241. Okay, technically it starts with the AI classification guide, but let's move on. Limited Memories features the Artificial Intelligence Applications Division. They're the people who handle all of the Foundation web crawlers, all of our artificial intelligences that work through the net to help us do our containments. There's this evil, anti-memetic, unified AI that's gonna take over if we don't stop them. This empty cube is its containment. The reason I bring this up to SCP TikTok is because some of you cosplayers would crush some of these characters. This garnet-looking individual is Nemazine, a new AI who handles anti-memetics. Eight Ball is cubic, old school, and Glasson is right in the middle. I don't know why, but I always imagine it with an English accent. And if you'd rather listen than read, I've got the whole thing on the Site42 YouTube channel with author interviews. Knock knock. Good morning, Dr. Sherman. And how are we doing today, 425? Oh, I'm doing great. Excellent. And I have a very special question just for you. And what might that be? What is it? Well, if you're a scientist, then how come you're so dumb? <laughs> what makes you say that? I can see into your mind. <laughs> well, uh -huh. that's certainly going into the file. Object class upgrade. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's out there? Have we got something? Hey, baby. Oh my god, again, seriously. Oh, a harbinger entity. All right, I'll send the mobile task force over. Go on, get. Get. Jesus. Oh, that works. Maybe no way to explain it, but I think we should contain it before it is too late. I found a thing under the pile of clothes in your room. What is that thing? We may never identify it. What? I swear, you are like the only one I have left. I am this close to falling off the deep end. <laughs> I know I'm smiling right now, but the light inside me is dying. Uh, what? But here I am, blah, 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 blabbing about my own boring, sexy, thrilling life. What is going on with you? Well, the document says I sent at least 20 D-Class in there, but... Do I remember? No. SCP-5320 is a loop. It's not a loop. It's a loop. The fish is a loop. 5320 is not a loop. Yes, it is. Time for Rad. Back me up. It's not a loop, you stupid man. Hello. Hey, Dr. Sherman. Is something the matter, 425? What? No. Nothing's wrong. I... Well, last time you were here, I called you dumb, and I've been wanting to apologize for that, so I made a very special I'm sorry card just for you. It doesn't seem to have anything written on it. Something written on it. Hold your horses there. I just haven't flipped it over yet. Mm. Ready? Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, here it goes. Ta-ta! <laughs> you do realize that that's still rude, right? What? This is rude? Well, at least I apologize for something. <laughs> Subject does not understand the error of their ways. Greetings, world leaders and members of the press. My name is Dr. Theron Sherman, chosen representative of the SCP Foundation. We were, up until now, a secret, non-governmental organization with the stated task of hiding all evidence of the paranormal or supernatural from the general public. Our motto was, we die in the dark so that you may live in the light. We contain magical objects, creatures, gods, things you don't dare believe exist. I know you're surprised to hear about our existence. Hell, we're just as surprised to be found out. But it turns out there is one anomalous creature we just couldn't contain. People who don't like pineapple on pizza. We are so truly sorry we couldn't contain these monsters. The following is a message composed via consensus of the O5 Council. For those who are not currently aware of our existence, we represent the organization known as the SCP Foundation. Our previous mission centered around the containment and study of anomalous objects, entities, and other assorted phenomena. This mission was the focus of our organization for more than 100 years. Due to circumstances outside of our control, this directive has now changed. Our new mission will be the extermination of the human race. There will be no further communication. SCP Dating Sim Challenge. Using your follower count, stitch this with... SCP-4521 is an anomalous tree that is incapable of screaming. Why won't you Several scream holes already? were placed upon SCP-4521 with a chainsaw. This stupid tree will no scream screaming detected. Another, no it. screaming detected. No screaming. You have to stop saying that pineapple doesn't belong on pizza because the Italians are going to come after us. Have you seen my nose? Have you ever seen me talk without using my hands? My grandmother had mafia ties, so on behalf of the delegation, you have no power here. Hey there, Site42 fam. It's come to my attention that not a lot of people know that we have a Site42 SCP merch store. We've commissioned art from multiple artists to make SCP-related merch, and we've got stickers for the Site42 channel. And so if you want some SCP merch, as well as helping support the Site42 channel, teespring.com slash stores slash site 42. Thank you in advance and cheers.